Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Plays. Welcome back to Un Gone Wild with my friend Arumba. How's it going, Arumba? It's going well. How are you, Shen? I'm doing pretty well. It looks like we're in war. What happened? Uh, we're just winning. Did you see our monarch points? We're eight years oh ahead of tech, God. and we have 900 and 833. <laughs> Why do we have so many monarch points? We're not even generating that many. We're only getting six per month. No, we just that's how much of a surplus our previous ruler gave us. Mm -hmm. We should rename like five provinces after him. Like no, he, he gets like a he gets like a one's super good. province. They're all named the same thing. <laughs> you don't agree? No, but. no, no. I do not agree. All right, I'll spend some of those monarch points. Actually, you know what? What? Let's see. Tech okay, now I was gonna say maybe if the next tech level gave us an idea group, but it doesn't. So yeah, I'll spend some of the monarch points. Oh, no worries. His army just got stack wiped because it oh. tried to retreat from Brunswick, and, and it, it couldn't. It couldn't. I don't understand why. Probably because well, reasons. Of the, the fort, no, no, maybe. Reasons. Something. Don't try to make sense of it. It's it's reasons. Okay. Our vassal's still waiting for his last infantry regiment to get to full strength so he can begin his siege. There he goes. He's doing his. He's doing what he can. Damn it, I just did it again. What? Did what? Did what? I consolidated the two armies in Magdeburg because I don't you like seeing... You got the wrong general. The Why wrong general. Because the wrong... Because stupid general should know which one I want. <laughs> Careful. Just... There's Holsteinian rebels. And Brandenburg can't kill him. Well, no, you can probably kill him. Did you squish Brandenburg's army? Yeah. So he had to rebuild it from scratch. Yeah, that's, that's awesome. Maybe Holstein can get independent before he uh, finishes his army. How long does it typically take for a one province miner to get independence after they siege the province they want? I want to say like three to five years. It's a long ass time. Wow. Yeah, Burgundy's getting close there, aren't they? Yeah, I'm kind of concerned about that, but it's... Why not stand in Berg? Let him come attack in the woods. He won't attack us. Our army's larger. What about splitting our army in half? Put half in Westphalen. Maybe, but... Wow, 77%. How do we keep failing? <laughs> it's it's because we had 50% and then I pulled the general off and then it went back down to 33%, so then we failed it and then I put him back and so now it's at 77. Uh, your math is strange. Uh, I agree. So is a so, negative negative percent chance to win a siege, but that's paradox math for you. <laughs> we have a negative 17 or no, a negative 14% chance of success. What? <laughs> Might as well just say impossible. Yeah. Oh, and uh, Brandenburg's gonna go fight his rebels instead of fighting our vassal's army. Wait, we're not at war with Brandenburg. What am I talking about? I don't know. Did you take your crazy pills today? Yes, I always do. <laughs> all right. Now, does he have? He's got one maneuver, so he river crossing won't affect us at all. Yeah, just go crush his face. Peace, crush. Six versus oh, a zero. We're flanking with infantry again. This is good. See, love it. Oh my god! Don't e I don't even want to. This is gonna make me mad. You're rolling zeros as well, man. <laughs> oh, that is just that is just fantastic. I don't even have words. Well, you know, we lost a relationship there. We went to war with Holland. Uh, who would you like to replace Holland as an ally? I mean, Holland's not bad, don't get me wrong, but I kind of feel like we should eat his land at some point. How about how about we continue re-upping either the Ottomans or Novgorod? Let's no see. Novgorod's close. They're at the negative 13 reasons. Would you prefer... Ottomans, not so close. Lithuania to Novgorod, or do you want Novgorod? Novgorod. Novgorod's going to become Russia, yeah. Yeah. They'll I kind of feel strong. like if we have Russia as an ally, we can sort of push into Poland and Lithuania with their help. That's a long way down the road, though. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's 1550, and someone posted on Reddit uh, a world conquest with Yeren, which is one of the tribes near near China. World conquest with Yeren, 1583. I'm like, what? Yeah, <laughs> that's rather insane. I was trying to figure and out, is Yeren, a, are they a, a they're horde? A horde. They're a so, horde, yeah. He, he went to India, he took Hindu as his religion, and with Hindu, you can get, he had negative, he had negative two revolt risk, while he had 260 overextension. So he was able to take 
huge amounts of land and still never get revolts. It was nuts. Hmm. That's interesting. Well, I'm sure they're I'm sure they're nerfing hordes to the point where that's going to be like impossible. Do you not want a general in an army? I think you should have a general in an army. There you go. You know, like the sooner um in the in the next patch, they're going to make it so that the more military tech you have, the weaker horde raising is. But if he's doing it in 1583, then that's not really going to slow it down much. Careful, getting attacked. Yeah. Can you win the battle first? Yeah, perfect. Okay, yep. now one thing you didn't do is you didn't put the Siege General up here, so I'll get them for you. See, it's probably because I consolidated it, and the game is just stupid and keeps putting the wrong guy in charge. <laughs> we have a disaster. Aristocratic coup. Is that the one that's going to go away automatically soon? Uh, probably. Check the timers. 54, 62. Um, 54, September, so four years, 48%. Um, careful, are we going to get attacked with it? No, he's going to Siege of Province, never mind. 48% okay. is fine. We're good on the coup. Okay. So, what's the plan here? Uh, we're going to... There goes Cologne. Why don't we go Siege Luxembourg? You peace out uh, Lubick, by the way. Oh, uh, what would you like from Lubeck? Money? He, he has no cores and claims, otherwise he'd be an awesome vassal. Oh yeah, he would. He could still make a nice vassal. I mean, we are one relationship down right at the moment, but that's that a lot of aggressive expansion. a expand. lot. Aggressive expansion, 37 development vassal. Wow. Yeah. All right, how about we just take money? How's that sound? Why, is, why is, uh vassalizing him not show up? Doesn't show up in the list. Because we can't core the land, probably. Oh, right, because we're landlocked. We have no coast. Uh, yeah, I think, uh, what about you know, forces religion? Yep, force religion, war reps, and money. Sound good? Yeah. Done. Next up is Burgundy. Oh, our vassal core finishes core, by the way. So East Frisia is done. We don't need to stay in this war if we don't want to. Okay. Can we afford um... to give him Magdeburg? How much AE is that? No. Oh man, that would be a big coalition. But you know what? Some of those are almost below 50. What if we wait till next January? Hmm. No. I, I think if Austria leaves, then it's fine. I mean, look, we got 5.6 war exhaustion because we've chained like four wars, okay, five so wars just, in a row. Just, just go for peace for a while. Yeah. I would love that province though. Yeah. All right. So force religion, take war reps. Oh. We can't. Hmm. Why do we, we don't need a forces religion? No. I mean. All right. War reps and money. We can do two hundred ninety ducats. Sound I good? like it. Yeah. Sounds great. Done. Done. And then we can get our war exhaustion down for fifty six months. I don't think we'll wait that long. I don't have patience like that. Oh, new rival time! Wow. Yeah. We can choose Bohemia, Holland, Brandenburg. Okay, who rivals who rivals Brandenburg? We can also choose the Pope. Remember, um, Brandenburg was yeah. allied to Sweden, but they're not anymore. I think rivaling Brandenburg is good here. Yeah, okay. I concur. Because uh, his allies are weak. How long is our truce? Eight years. His allies are weak, and I really feel like if we integrate Cologne quick, do you want to? I want to annex Cologne. He'll finish in seven years. Uh, he's been doing a good job fabricating claims for us. One of the nice things about a vassal is that when he fabricates claims and he gets caught, he gets aggressive expansion. We don't. Correct. Correct. Um, but I don't know. Can we use Did any of the claims he currently has? Munster, maybe? He claimed Friesland, which is a free city. Remember we talked about finding an ob obscure way to go to war with Austria mm -hmm. and declare on a free city. Yep. His allies are crap. Yep, like looks who, like uh, if join? everyone would would join if uh, Spain inherited Aragon. Yeah, Sweden, Sweden pays off their debt, you know, a couple years of peace, just like us, and then they're ready to go against Austria. Milan Milan's will do ready. it. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Well, so let's keep him around for a little bit. But you know what? We can start the integration and then declare the war, right? We don't have to because there's going to be seven years of integration anyway. Mm-hmm. 
but we could just keep him around for a while. Austria. Another nice thing about vassals is even if we decide to keep him around, we can take provinces that border him and we can still core those provinces. Mm -hmm. Hey, we actually have Burgundian separatists at 80% right now. Let's go take care of that in Metz. I think if we just stand there, it's fine. It'll go away. Yep, it will be. We haven't had to worry about maintenance in a long time. We just kept it at full. That's nice. You think we have a decent economy here? That's pretty good. It's going, it's going all right. I'm going to spend some money. Good. I like money. Let's see. Weapons manufacturing. Oh, darn. Why can't we do that? Civil War in Naples. Aw. Oh, we're full on slots. I see. So we need to develop a little more if we want to build a weapons manufacturing. Okay. Well, we have tons of Monarch points, so sure. All right, so how does this work? If we build... Uh, there we go. If we build a naval equipment manufacturing in Vermont... If I mouse over it, it says we're going to get... Oh, victory card gained. Lower Bavaria. Wait, did our victory card change? It did. Yeah, probably because we, we yeah. lost it. We lost it, I think, when we got rid of that land, remember? That's interesting, though, that you lose your victory card. Because we had a victory card in Bohemia, and now it gave us a different victory card in Austria. Well, it's partially Bohemia, though, still. Wait, no, it shows two victory cards, Rumba. You're just seeing this on the map. That's it? No, click on the victory card map mode. It shows two victory cards. So lose... <laughs> Man, paradox, holy crap. So going under 300 development does not cancel a victory card. But when you go back over 300, you get a second victory card. That's amazing. Well, are you sure? Oh, no, that that's not what it is. It's because it's now 1550. So we get a second one, right? Every 100 years, you get a second one. Okay. It's our second victory card. Okay. Victory I've cards. I've been playing so for a long time. Victory cards are a very weird mechanic to me. I don't like them. So we didn't lose it by going under 300. Good. All right. So anyway, I was going to ask you about building a naval equipment manufactory, which is 500 ducats in the province of Vermont. It has salt, it's a decent trade good. Um, if I mouse over it, it says we're gonna be increasing monthly income by 0.39 ducats. This will also increase trade value by three. Is that worth it for 500 ducat investment? So we take 494. Uh, my calculator is, for some reason, I don't know why, but for some reason with my E4, it will like decide that it is not going to let my window lose focus. Mm -hmm. So I can't see my calculator. There it is. Now we got it. Okay. One second. Okay. Naval, naval equipment manufactory. And again, this is another situation where it says the map shows 0 0.30 and the tooltip says 0 0.39. Right. So 0 0.39 I think is accurate. So 494 divided by 0.39. It's going to take 1,266 months to pay off, which is 105 years, but it's also increasing the trade value, which affects which affects the uh, amount of trade income we get, and it also will affect trade power, will it not? Well, no, it's I've, not gonna... I've already found a better place to go. We're going to go to the Yukon. Yukon for in, what? In the Yukon, they have dyes, and that's worth more. So building the factory there gives us 0.49 ducats a month for the same initial cost. Sounds good. And if I could just, God, you know what? I, I hate when it does this. It just drives me crazy. It's like I have to like, there, 100, 1,008 months, 84 years. That's pretty good. Yeah, not bad. That, that's not factoring in the increased trade value as well, so it's actually probably like half that. We have three free diplomats, Shen. It's too many. Okay, okay. Um, let's see, how about we get relations up with random neighbors? I agree. Oh, weren't we talking about possibly doing a war against Lunenburg? Did our vassal claim it? No. Because you said it as a desired province. I thought maybe our vassal would claim it, but he did not. Well, he only has so many diplomats. You know, He's... our vassal can also claim Bremen. You might want to do that. Set that as a desired province. It is. Have you looked oh. at our... Oh, wow. You've, you've, you've said everything. Holy shit. Or Ulm. 
I mean, we're, we're Ulm, you know? I mean, we're going wild. We want lots. Big lots. Do you have those stories in Florida? Big lots? Send in the troops, Shen. What happened? We had a, a revolt. Oh, Protestant zealots. It's like we're not Protestants enough. Yeah. Hmm. Let's see. Manpower recovery. Revolt risk. Discipline. Uh, development cost. I had just switched mm -hmm. us over to uh, legalized divorces. As long as we're below 100, we should really be trying to get it up. Okay. Point two five. I was going to say we might want to pick the um, organized through bishops for 5% cheaper development because we've been developing a lot lately. We, we just always have extra points. True. More money um, would be nice just so we can continue to build regimental camps. Also, we need to get that 10th cannon. We can lower funding for now, by the way. Yeah. Yeah, there's really no reason to have it high, is there? Nope. Peace is a weird time in our country. We don't know what to do with ourselves. I think we can go speed three even. No. What? What, yeah. what is What is that? It's, it's, I don't know. I've heard about it in movies, but I'm not sure if you can do it in real life. Well, that's the, probably the best way for us to actually get our war exhaustion down without declaring another war. <laughs> Just make the game run faster. Mm-hmm. I'm surprised that, that um, Castile was still able to form Spain, even though France had taken, let, let me count here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight provinces in the Spanish region. Still didn't matter. Still formed Spain. Mm -hmm. It is kind of surprising. Wow. Five years ahead, we can still take Diplotech. Wow. When's yeah, the think, next idea group? Tech 14. Okay. Yeah, I think I think we're not doing that. I think we're just going to sit. <laughs> By the way, we've had two events in the last number of years to gain tradition. We have 60 tradition right now. Really? Should we hire some generals while we're at high tradition? I mean, if we're ahead of I mean, military 60, points? We are maybe. at 60.0. <laughs> if we're going to hire, it should be now, before the end of the month. Yeah. Um, we're also below 50 power projection again, by the way. Hmm. Do we have anyone that we could do right now? Like, we have a truce with Brandenburg. Pretty much just Austria. Oh, that was such an opportunity. I didn't even realize that. Burgundy was our rival. We could have held that war and humiliated him. We are dumb, Arumba. We are dumb. Sometimes. Mm hmm. I need diplomat. Um, ba -ba -bum -bum. is Novgorod westernizing or something? He lost some land to rebels and now he's got more rebels. What do you want diplomat for? I'm checking to see who we can declare on. What was the way we were going to get to war with uh, Austria? Austria, yeah. We're going to declare on Friesland or Lüneburg. Lüneburg is his vassal, and Friesland is a free city. Okay, if we find a diplomatic reputation guy, we can call all of our allies in against Austria. Okay, would you want to wait until we have uh, less war exhaustion, or would you want to spend some of our massive amounts of diplo points to get it down? I am in favor of doing just like a click and then. Maybe a second click after we get back up to two. Okay, and well, yeah. I have done a click. Yeah, I, I think we should go to war with Austria. I mean... Okay, I, I think it's worth doing. So we need a reputation guy. Is there one available? There yes. is. There is one available. Now, that that is not a discounted man. So that man will... Um, is there a discounted man available that we can... No, but what we can do... Oh, man, our current guy is 67 years old. What I was going to say is what we can do is hire this guy for a month and then pick our old guy again after we declare the war. But no, nah, he's going to be dead. Well, we could get a we could get a level three diplomat, but you know we have we have too many points as is. I think we just hire the guy. Okay, I was just worried about the cost. Six ducats a month is steep, but it should be okay. Well, the only other option is to use the inquisitor, like the the estate, to hire one, but he'll be level three, so he'll probably still cost more. Yes, he will cost about the same as that level two. Okay, so okay. we declare on Friesland. Automatically, mm -hmm. Austria's going to be co belligerent. So we mm -hmm. also, even though it doesn't show that they're going to call anyone else in, we also have to look at Austria's allies. They're going to have 
Bosnia, Poland, Papal State, and Lucca. And if we were to declare on Austria directly, everyone would honor except for Bosnia. So they're going to call in Lucca, Papal, and Poland. Sounds good to me. Sounds like an okay matchup? Okay. Oh, yeah. All right, well, let's do it then. Okay, so declare on Friesland. It's conquest. And we can separate peace Austria or negotiate with Friesland for Austrian claims. And we're going to checkmark all of our allies. Oh, so good. I think we probably want a separate peace Austria, though, and... And since they oh, are definitely. co-belligerent, we like release Tyrol or Styria or something. Yeah, if we can do Styria, we're doing it. Right. I cause... believe their cores go away and in forty years, so doing it now would be amazing. Yeah. Like I'm concerned a bit about our our uh, aggressive expansion. Also, we should probably wait till we have our, our maintenance up to full. Yeah. Okay. I'll just keep the window up. Okay. Uh, why don't we wait like a month or two just to, you know. Okay, well, if we're going to wait a month or two, why don't we just do it in the next episode? How's that sound? Sounds great. Okay. Okay, thanks for watching, everyone. I've been Shani's been a Rumba. Come back next time. We're going to be going to war with Austria because neither of us know how to stay at peace. This, this <laughs> like, is oh, we're sure. going to wait 54 months for our exhaustion. No, we're not. We, yeah. <laughs> we can't do that. We'll see you next time. <laughs> see you soon.